So for this week, you're going to focus on the topic of multimodality specifically. You were somewhat introduced to this in Unit 1, but um, you're going to really delve into what is communication being multimodal mean, what might it look like, what does it look like, or what do we need to consider as educators. You're going to do that through multiple ways. There are two videos from Gunther Kress. Now, they're interviews with Gunther Kress, but you'll notice here that they're listed um, to reference as Decimal who is the YouTube channel owner where those are posted. And um, it's kind of a big deal to make sure that you reference this correctly. Um, you are also going to read a chapter out of Colansis and Pope, two chapters out of our textbook. Um, Bridget Dalton uh, has a piece about multimodality and Common Core that I would like you to read as well as um, Marjorie Siegel has a piece about multimodality that I think is useful. Then what I want you to do is revisit the RSA Animal, the Sir Ken Robinson TED Talk that you watched last week and really dig into and think about what does multimodality mean? What does it look like in this? How do the visuals and the creating of this and the speech all work together to help you understand his ideas? And then how might it constrain your learning? It may not. You may not think it's perfect and wonderful. I happen to think it's a great example of multimodality, but that doesn't mean that everybody has the same opinion as I do. The last thing I want you to do is to look at a love story in 22 pictures. Um, if I'm recalling correctly, the major piece of this is only this initial tagline up here. Everything else is told completely in visuals and consider how does this help your understanding? How does it, might it constrain your understanding? Do you understand the narrative that they're telling without the words? So then really explore some of these focal questions up here. What are you really seeing with multimodality? How are you seeing these modes of visual, linguistic, spatial layout working together? Um, because all communication is multimodal. You can't see this right now, but I'm actually gesturing as I'm talking to you, so this is an example of multimodality commun communication being multimodal. So I'm using both my linguistics, and if you could see me, my gesture to try to impart this knowledge to you. So this is what you're really going to explore this week. Um, besides the discussion board post, there is no additional assignment for the week, um, but for the next couple of weeks, we will be doing some major projects focused around multimodality. So really the core of this week is to learn and understand multimodality as best as you can.